Do you remember, champ? Do you remember this sound? I think you do. I think you remember. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Hunt Showdown with the best damn soundtrack ever. Chant, we're not just going to be playing Hunt Showdown. No, 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 no. We are going to be shoutcasting and spectating solos and quick play. Let's not waste another second. Let's dive in. Chant, let me repeat that. I have been looking for a game that I can use to be like excellent and hyped up for for some time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the gaming segments of this stream off by hopping in to a Hunt Showdown match, dying immediately. Let's see what, if you can decide what's gonna kill me first, right, chat? Throw a poll in the chat and see if you got it, okay? Dying quickly, we're gonna spectate and shout cast a match, chat. I literally practiced doing this and I couldn't stop smiling. The all time because it was so I was enjoying it by myself my wife comes up and she's like hon you okay I go yeah she's like are you playing the scary shooter I go I am yeah she goes oh it's, it's oh chat I love it I love it so much so chat this this game incredible if you're new to hunt showdown ladies and gentlemen it's a pretty unknown game comparatively uh, made by Crytek, the same guys that made Crisis and one of my favorite VRs Time Thorn I still play it from time to time we're going to be playing it quite a bit in the coming days. This is not the brand new thing I was teasing that we're gonna do when we beat Subnautica. That's something else. Okay, so Hunt Showdown is gonna be one of our main games in the coming future because for the sole purpose that I love this game, it's simple enough to uh, understand even if you're not a Hunt Showdown viewer. And, and here's the kicker, we can make curated YouTube episodes about this, okay? If you've watched Tim the Tatman, you've seen that he spectates solos in Warzone and then puts fun titles about what the match happened. He does like a little intro, whatever. So we're going to do something similar with Hunt Showdown. We're going to give it to my content machine. They're going to make episodes. And they're going to put it out. We'll tag Hunt Showdown and we'll get it done. All right, chat, we're in. We're in our first ever Hunt Showdown spectate once again. We're going to die quickly. Chat, what do you think is going to kill me first? What do you think is going to be the first monster to kill us? Tell me what you think. Cinder, I know, right? Literally, Lori about to scope around the dark. I might love it. Rise up, damned soul. Our first ever hunt showdown match. Come kill me, person. I cut off his head. End me. End my life, zombies. I don't want a zombie to kill me, chat. I want something bigger to kill me. Okay. Come on now. What do we got? What do we got? I want to start the game off by just dying. Can I run into this fire? Maybe I should have let a zombie kill me, chat, for God's sake. So, I love the ambience in this game. And when there's a nighttime mode, it's even better. Do we have a big lad? Where's a large... How is there no enemies? The time I want to die, I walk into a town and there's, like, nothing. This is incredible, chat. Our first... Quick, hello. Yes. Fire? Fire. Fire it is, chat. And so, we're burned to death to begin the first ever quick play spectate of the gaming channel. Let it begin, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to spectate the people. Ah! And so it begins. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Chant. Here it is. Our first ever spectate. We have Travision. Rank 100. Prestige 22. Kill in the game. Only has one trait so far. Gator legs. He's gotten his first... Uh, perk. Okay, so just got his first clue there. Let's check out what else we got in this lobby. Rank 100, Prestige 10. Got a bit of a higher level player from Azrelsis. Interesting name. I like that quite a bit. Strigglebit coming in with 61 rank 3 Prestige. I'm looking in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Okay. We got name over here. Prestige 53. Rank 93. You know what, champ? We're gonna watch a professional player play hunt showdown he's right here he comes in he immediately sees a person coming and getting chased by a zombie he only has a sword he's gonna jump down he's gonna go after him he stabs him that's it that's the end the professional player name sees the person coming in takes a couple hits isn't phased at all hops right down with sword in hand dark soul style and takes out his first play. excellent job man excellent job he's moving so quick 
the motions are fluid here. It's interesting watching a professional player play this game comparatively to me, relatively new to this, because he don't care about the noise. You know, I care a lot about the noise. He's just going. He's getting a second clue. Let's see what perks we got here. That was an absolute Assassin's Creed move. Goes for the fanning pistols. Goes, oh, is he picking it back up? Okay, he does pick up the long range weapon. Says, shut up to the dogs. Don't, don't need you. Let's see what perk he got. Still getting some gator legs is his first perk. Maybe it hasn't. Oh, that was only his first clue. Okay, his first clue, he gets some gator legs. Gator legs lets you walk and sprint faster in deep water. Okay, so. A very action-packed first moment of this spectate here. Something I really like about the spectator mode for Hunt Showdown is that you can actually tab in between stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, so perks you do choose before the match in a normal game mode. In quick play, you get random perks when you get a clue. This is the quick play game mode. So let's see what perks he gets from the uh, second one, right? So see, now he has poison sense. Can see nearby poisoned hunters while in dark sight. That has got to be an absolute worst perk I've ever seen. It's so inconsistent. No, it's totally fine, Shadow. Totally fine. So let's pan quickly away from him and just see what else we got. We got Sasty coming, just healing up. Okay. Hentai <laughs> coming in here absolutely with the double silence pistol. I love the names that people have. It's so funny. We're going to stick on names here. I just want to see if there was some stuff around. So names looks like, can I see their, uh, can I see their loadout anywhere? No, this is just my loadout. Okay. So Names helping us out. Looks like he's got a couple sticks of dynamite. He's got a frag grenade, a poison bomb, a health shot, a health shot, a gun, and a sword. So he's this is a professional player champ. So make sure you're watching kind of how he does stuff. Not only does he have a gun, but he's got a gun with a knife on it. So he has an alternative melee weapon. And some dusters. Prioritizing the, uh, the dusters is important because dusters are some of the main ways, easiest ways for you to kill. God, that was loud. Some of the easiest ways for you, for you to kill uh, the fiery boys, okay? Because Duster, if you hit the fiery boy with a knife, it blows up in flames, right? With a, with a sharp object. So dusters you can use to kill the fiery boy and not have to have to deal with stuff. There's a horse? I've never seen a horse spawn in the forest like that. Are you kidding me? So incredible. See how this guy's going, Chant? His movement, so fluid. Not worrying about his stamina, not worrying about making noise. He's silencing stuff as he needs to, but he's really not caring about being loud to stuff close around him. I wonder if that's because he's so confident on his gunmanship or if he just knows he has to get there quick. So in, in quick play, you must get the tools quick because if someone gets four, they're gonna get to the wellspring before you and they're gonna have four, count them four, perks or four count of four clues worth of, worth of perks. And this guy only has two. So now he has to get from Reeves to upper, I can't read that, upper something. So he now has our player, Names. Names McFeed, we want you to win this, buddy. We're rooting for you, Names. We're rooting for you, buddy. He's got the big freaking prestige on him, so I'm confident that he can do this as well. He's only got one charge in his med kit, but he's pretty stocked. He's got a gun, he's got a melee weapon, he's got a couple bombs. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. He took some fall damage. It looks like he took enough to lose one of his smaller health bars. So before he engages here, I think he'll want to try. Interesting. Okay, so he checked inside the house by scoping in and looking in between the things. I didn't know about this. This is what happens when you watch a professional player, incredible, chooses the scoped rifle and goes right up. Of course, he's not really super close. Looks like he's going to try to get some free kit. Looks like it doesn't have a window and it sucks. But he does find a med kit up there. So very nice. So he was able to refill his health. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like the person holding the wellspring is still... That's that lightning bolt right here. Still where my mouse cursor is. Still in town. Now is where stuff's going to get very interesting, chat. Let's see if, a, if this professional player... Let's see if his playstyle changes as he gets closer to the town. Choosing to come in around the outside on the train tracks here. Choosing to kind of look to the right, see what's coming in, not just looking straight on. I like this train track. It's got a lot of cover, actually. I was thinking maybe he would use it, but nope. And now he sees someone. He's pretty close. He jumps out, takes a little bit of damage. Maybe he doesn't want to do that. It's fine. Chat, isn't this exciting? Isn't this working? Okay, so he sees him. He's up in that house right there. So he's using some dark sight to see him. Let's see if he, he tries to... He scopes in. He sees him. He misses the first shot. He comes in with the second one. Misses the second one. The guy on top of the roof is absolutely going ham with his shots. He's trying to shoot through a tree. He misses again. Is he going to reload his pistol to come reload his gun to come in here? Not necessarily. 
he's still pushing. Trying to bob and weave, seeing if he can get an eye on this man that is up on the top. The other guy up there does have high ground. He's going to be, you know, really trying his best to force out our friend Names here. I don't want to leave Names spectate. I don't want to because I want to, you know, I don't want to stop spectating this guy and then all of a sudden he dies. We're going to follow him for the entire match after this first match. So he's choosing to back off, choosing instead of going closer to engage, play to the strength of his weapon and go off pretty hard and see if someone else can take it. And this other guy, Max, Max uh, Rager, or sure, Max Rager, of course. Max takes the wellspring from whoever had it last. Excellent job, Max. He triggered some kind of mine there. You heard the tripwire going off. So tripwire mine went off. He's choosing to go under and in. Instead of coming in from the outside, around the outside, he's going to go into the base, up the stairs, try to see if he can get some angles on it. He sees him upstairs. He's, been, he's, not, he's charging up his melee. -like. He thinks the guy's right there. He hears it. The stairs are the bait of my existence. He's going to run in. He sees, them. he sees the wire. He's going to try to go through it, but no, it stops him. Excellent job on the wire from Max stopping his play in its tracks. Max's tripwire mind stops names in his tracks, forces him to back off. Max now knows that's that uh, somebody's down there. He knows because he heard the, uh, he heard the, the pain noises, whatever they're called. You know what I'm saying? Nice little little quick little vitality shot coming in. Maybe anti-poison shot, some little antidote. Uh, looks like a, a plus health potion going on here. So names continues to try to you know feel out where Max is, what his next moves are. He's going to be a little bit quiet here. He hears somebody coming. He's going to see if they're going to come around the corner. And he's going to try to stab him in the mouth. Names prepping to absolutely get it. He hears somebody. It could be Max. It could be another hunter. We hear a dynamite. Is he going to move faster? Nope, it wasn't for him. It looks like it was more of a firebomb. He takes a shot. He goes into like one health. Someone with a shotgun was waiting. He's still got his food clutch. He faces another hunter. What is he going to do? He stabs through the door. And that's it for Names. Just because you're a professional player doesn't mean you're going to win. Excellent try from Names. He just got pinched in between two players there, unable to do something. Let's check out. We've got Travision inside the house got a nice gun let's check his perks just determination and gator legs looks like he's in the same house he's in a similar house don't know if it's the same but looks like he's in a similar house let's let's keep on looking we've got striggle up here in the in the top let's see if we could find max let's see if we could find max in the bottom right see if, all right we're on Max now. Max is the current wellspring holder. He was able to take out and stop our boy Names from coming in. He's going to try to loot Names, see if he's got anything. Max, feeling cornered, is going to leave that house completely. Thank you, Mr. Junior. Very much so. Thank you very much. Max leaving the house. He's booking it, trying to get out of there. He's got a... Only this... This gun is what killed our boy Names. This gun, see how it has only one slug in the clip, the magazine. I don't know what it is, whatever. It has only one shot, and he hit Names in the mouth, and that's what took him out. That's what took out all of his health. Nice shot, Max, dear God. He hits him in the noggin and removes another hunter from the match. If you kill somebody in quick play while you're the Wellspring character, you reduce your timer. Excellent job from Max. It looks like there's not a lot of people left. We know there's... Oh, we see somebody over, over the hedge. He misses the first shot. He's going to rotate back into the house. That was it, Max. Now this guy's going to push. He's going to go to the second window. He's going to try to see if they come out. He sees him pushing him close. He hits him. Unclear if dead. Don't think so. I can't exactly hear the... Ah! You know, like the, the death uh, rattle. Sure. The the death rattle noise. Max is pushing him. Very bold for Max here. He hits him again. The first shot from our opponent misses, but Max does hit most likely a body shot because, well, I think he actually died because Max had to rotate back and now someone else is close. On the left, he's coming in. Max absolutely killing it with this one shot gun. He takes a hit and goes down to like no health. Max decides to sprint upstairs. He's trying to get time to put the vitality shot, but there's not enough time. He gets his pistol, he pulls it out, he hits him, he hits him a bunch, of, and that is it for Max. Max wins. It was a, There was another hunter out there throwing a firebomb, but it doesn't matter. Max quick aims the pistol to the body, takes him out. G G to Max Rager and to Names. Excellent job. A good show.